What's up, Met fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets it, Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about why Chris Bryant ultimately will sign with the New York Mets, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. You enjoy my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, you guys know what to do. Hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys, so why do I think Chris Bryant will ultimately sign with our New York Mets? It's very, very simple. There's one more bat this lineup needs and that is Chris Bryant the offseason has been pretty darn good so far with Marte, Kana, Escobar and Scherzer that's beautiful but put the cherry on top would be Chris Bryant guys there's no doubt about it I really do expect the Mets to go hard after Chris Bryant when this lockout hopefully ends. We're going to go over what was said pre-lockout regarding Chris Bryant, the Mets, and other teams. We're going to go over his stats, and we're also going to... I'm going to give my contract prediction of what it will take to get Chris Bryant to New York, wearing the orange and blue. Before the lockout, John Heyman tweeted that... And this is when Chris Bryant's... Market started to heat up a little bit right before the lockout, a day or two before the lockout. Got everybody excited, especially Mets fans, including myself, about a possible Mets Chris Bryant relationship, especially with Boris getting getting some good news when they regarding Scherzer, and now the relationship is there, so it might help with the Mets with Bryant. John Heyman said pre-lockout, two days before the lockout. Mets, Angels, and Padres are among many teams that have shown interest in free agent star Chris Bryant, whose market is now percolating. Mariners, Phillies, Rockies, Astros, among others who have checked in. This was a few days, a day or two before the lockout, where Chris Bryant's market has started to heat up, everybody. And what that got me, now, a lot of people said, oh, the Mets might be done position player-wise. They're going to focus on starting pitching for the back end of the rotation and bullpen, which clearly they do need. They need another decent back end of the rotation arm, another, maybe another arm for depth. And they obviously got to fill spots with Aaron Loop and Familia that's not going to be on this Mets in this Mets bullpen in 2022. That's an obvious. But it's not only that the Mets... 100% need this guy. But what this team can possibly look like lineup wise with Chris Bryant is one of the most dangerous lineups in the National League. I know there's other teams like the Braves, the Dodgers. We can go on and on. But there's no doubt Chris Bryant will make this lineup even better with this veteran presence, the veteran lineup with the young guys in Alonzo and Lindor, who's still a young guy who can help out McCann in the lineup, who is probably going to be bat an eighth. Chris Bryant will be in the middle of this lineup, guys. He will, he can play all over the field. You can you can put him at third base. You can put him in right field. You can put him in left field. It gives you options on where you want to play certain players. If you don't want Dominic Smith in left field at all, if he's still on this team, maybe you want a DH. Maybe you want to put him over to first. Let DH Put Alonzo at DH. You can put Escobar at second base. Put Chris Bryant to third base. There's so many options with Chris Bryant that he's worth the contract that I will be talking about and what I predict he will get from a team. Hopefully the Mets. Chris Bryant is, is versatile, which a lot of teams, almost every team in, in, in Major League Baseball, want a guy that's so versatile. Who is an all-star? Let's be honest. MVP, Rookie of the Year, all-star Four out of his six years in the major leagues, he is the guy that teams are going to be looking for. The Mets are going to have a lot of competitors trying to bid for Chris Bryant. And when it comes to Chris Bryant and my prediction for a contract, I do think that a lot of teams are going to offer him five years around 125, 130. But I think the one team, which I hope it's the Mets, the one team, that I think can go to that sixth year around 140 
And that is my prediction. It's going to take six years, $140 million, exactly the same contract Baez got from the Tigers to lure Chris Bryant to the New York Mets or any team that would offer him that sixth year. Obviously, the, the, annual, the average annual value is $23.3 million per year. But again, Chris Bryant is 29 years old, going to be 30 by the time he steps on the field in spring training. Six years at 36 years old, he's still got three or four years of prime Chris Bryant. I think he's going to be fine. He's going to bat his 260, 270, hit 20 to 23 home runs, and knocking about 60 to 70 RBIs, which I think is more than enough to help this lineup out with Marte, with Alonzo, with Lindor, with Brandon Nimmo. I think it's going to help everybody around him. It's going to make Chris Bryant a better player. I think he's getting right into his prime. You saw what happened when he got traded to the Giants. It just pushed that team even further ahead of everybody else. Yes, they didn't win the championship with the end goal, but Bryant made the San Francisco Giants much better. He will do that with the Mets. So my prediction, it's going to take six years, 140, and average annual value of $23.3 million. That's what I think it's going to take. I don't think a lot of teams are probably going to fall out of this bidding for Chris Bryant when the lockout is over. There's going to be a few teams that were mentioned in the John Heyman tweet that are going to bounce out of that bidding because I don't think they want to go past five years. But I know that the Mets would go six years. And there probably will be another team, maybe a team like the Angels, who did get their pitch in and is looking to make another big splash. That's a team that I would worry about if I'm the Mets, but I think the Mets will go six years to beat every other team because I think that's what it's going to take to get Chris Bryant here with the Mets. When it comes to Chris Bryant's stats, he was pretty good for the Cubs and the Giants in 2021. He had an average of 267 with the Cubs, 262 with the Giants, so he's going to bat around that, 262-70. 23 walks, 46 strikeouts, 89 strikeouts with the Cubs, 39 walks with the Cubs. He had he batted 267, as I said. RBI is 51 with the Cubs, 22 with the Giants, so 73 overall. He had 25 home runs overall. He is a guy that will be perfect for this lineup, guys. I keep on saying it. His stats tell you all. Rookie of the year, four years out of his six All-Star, MVP in 2016. He is the guy that you want on this team. I've been saying this since last offseason. The Mets needed to do everything they can to trade for Chris Bryant during the offseason and during the trade deadline. They didn't make that deal, which they could have clearly had Chris Bryant and pa Javier Baez possibly. But because of the DeGrom injury, they decided not to go after Chris Bryant and settle for Javier Baez. And how did that work out? Chris Bryant is the guy the Mets should have will get, and I guarantee, guys, six years, 140, will get it done to bring Chris Bryant to the New York Mets, guys. Once again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you enjoy my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos, and when I go live, you guys know what to do. Hit on that subscribe button, everybody. Let me know what you think of the contract that I proposed, six years, 140, or do you think the Mets will only go five years at around 125 to 130? Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Or do you think the Mets should go another route, trade-wise or free agent-wise, besides Chris Bryant? Let me know in the comments, guys. Once again, guys, everyone, thank you guys for your support. And as always, Mets fans, let's go Mets.